guys. So today is Thursday, August 17th, and we are headed up to is it Lafayette. Yep, Lafayette, Lincoln, and Garfield. Uh, we have three 4Ks, actually four 4Ks ahead of us, although one of them isn't officially named because of lack of prominence. prominence. That's what it was. But anyway, the lights are kicking our butt. Uh, but this is a fairly decent section. I don't know if you can see it back here. Nice and straight up. <laughs> but we actually prefer this over, say, New York because it's whew, technically challenging and when the weather's nice you get rewarded for the climbing and uh, you get a great view at the top. So hopefully we'll have that. But overall we're having lots of fun and uh, just happy to finally be in the whites. And although they're tough, turns out they're not quite as terrible as everyone makes them out to be. So we're happy to be here. One step closer to Maine, and one step closer to Mount Washington, which we should see on Sunday. And uh, oh, that is all. Talk to y'all soon. So we got a beautiful view on the way up to Haystack Mountain. We've been climbing for about five miles now. You can see the interstate way down there in the bottom where we came from. Beautiful alpine once again. These mountains are just rugged. Look at all that. Good lord. Uh, it looks like we're going to come around this ridge way off there in the distance and probably stay at a shelter tonight after 10 miles. It's supposed to rain tomorrow so we're going to kind of play it by ear. But talk to you later.
get that. It's incredible. And then we've got Lincoln, Lafayette, and I can't remember the other one, and the wind's probably blowing too hard for you to hear me anyway. But it is stunning out here. Look at how good Wella looks in her pink t-shirt. <laughs> so much color. Alright guys, we're going to push on to the hut. See ya. Good morning guys. Good to see you again. Um, we're climbing up. Oh, man, Galehead Mountain. We stayed down at the Galehead Hut run by the AMC. And they were gracious enough to allow us to stay um, for a work for stay. Thank you very much. They're really great people doing a really good thing out here. So if you get the chance to check out any kind of AMC lodging, do so. They're just good. Um, only 6.9 miles today to the next hut uh, because we're supposed to get thunderstorms around 2 and we don't want to play those games out here in the whites so we're really trying to gun right now it's drizzling um, but we figured it's gonna do that all day regardless so hopefully we can make it down most of the downhill before the thunderstorm set in and get into that hut and hopefully get a work for stay or try to work something out with them because it's supposed to get really nasty from 2 p.m. until tomorrow morning so here's to hoping uh, we got decent views behind me as always beautiful alpine and then a beautiful hiker coming up right there so moving on uh, should have some good views on the ridge we'll see though it's starting to rain but we'll talk to you later here's update number two uh, we're about three miles into our trip right now walking across this boulder scramble up the mountain. I imagine this would be a pretty stunning view in good weather, but we are not in good weather. It's uh, raining just a little bit. I think it's more of the stuff coming down from the mist, but we'll have the full-on storms here around two. Um, we're just picking our way slowly. You can see Wella there in the front and then Andy in the back making their way through the mist. So we're going to uh, keep on. See ya. We're up on Zeeland Mountain. Still plodding around, the rain's still coming down. As you can see, we're, or I am, completely soaked. Uh, we can't be but two miles out from the hut. Like I said, it's just a six mile day. Um, pretty chilly, fortunately we just got some uphill to warm us back up, but very ready to get indoors. Really hopeful that they're gonna let us stay. Um, I mean, we'll go through a tent out at a stealth site somewhere if we have to, but it would be really great if we could get indoors tonight. But it's all good. Talk to you guys later. How's it going? Tired. <laughs> Wet. It's the, the longest six miles of the trip. Oh man. So much fun. It'd be funny see. if I took a dig it right now. <laughs> you don't want to end up on the blooper reel, man. <laughs> uh, we are trying to walk as fast as we can to the next shelter for cell service. And then hopefully we're going to be able to call somebody, one of our community supporters, to get a warm place to stay in town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to say anything about the train? Oh, it's beautiful right now, but this here looks a lot like a mixture of Pennsylvania and then Alaska. It's beautiful. All right. Anything else for the crowd? No, we're just let's get going. <laughs> All right. Bye. Hey guys. So we're here at Crawford Notch, waiting for our ride. The hook. Yeah. Guess who this is? Andy. And then we have someone else over here who set up his special tarp. <laughs> special. No beard Andy, no beard. No beard Andy over yeah. here, yep. But yeah, we just want to show he's sharing. Not. <laughs> uh, good hike today. Yep. All right. Hi guys. So we are climbing up to Mount Webster, right? Why are yep. you watching me? <laughs> Sorry, take two. <clears throat> I don't know what day it is, but we are climbing up to Mount Webster on our way to the Mizpah Hut. Where we're going to take a quick break, and then we're heading on to Lake of the Clouds Hut, yep. where we're going to spend the night in the dungeon, which is a little cabin slash hut that they have at the back of the actual mountain hut for the hikers. And then tomorrow we hope to summit Mount Washington. It looks like, I don't know if you can see in the background, it looks like it might rain or snow, you know, who knows. Um, but we're hoping that tomorrow is going to be nicer, so we took a zero yesterday because the weather was pretty bad and it's just too windy and dangerous up here to hike in bad weather. Anything else? Uh, that's it. Yeah, and I'm going to duck down so you can enjoy the view because it's really pretty. Yeah.
everyone. So we're gonna try to speak up a little bit over the wind, but we've got the best break that we've had all day. Uh, we're finishing up our 11 mile day into the Lake of the Clouds hut. And it's been pretty stunning. I mean, do you want to talk about the ridge line and things like that that we've seen there? Well, I think the videos that you saw kind of speak for themselves. So it's, it's been absolutely incredible. We've had great views. I'm really glad we took a zero yesterday because... Yeah, that was needed. It's been a, over a month yeah. and 400 miles since we took our last zero. Um, and also just, um, it was raining yesterday, so today we had great weather um, and had some incredible views. And also the ridge was really nice to walk on, so terrain hasn't been bad at all. Just really windy. Yeah, just very windy. <laughs> so, hope you're enjoying the views. Hopefully you can hear us. I mean, maybe we'll put subtitles or something like that in this video so you can actually tell what we're saying. Um, but yeah, enjoy the views. Y'all take it easy.